A little bit of a departure this morning from my usual Saab stuff. My friend's Hyundai has had a little bit of a mishap against a brick wall, which is a little bit nasty. It's, um, yeah, it's a little bit of a mess. It's um, sort of quite heavily sort of dented there. But all I'm looking to do is to improve the marks just to make it a little bit less visible. So I'll begin by just wiping the car down, wash it first, wipe it down with a, a citrus a spray just to um, prep it as best I can, clay bar it as well, just get any sort of grit, any uh, sort of contaminants out of the paint itself and then get cracking with it, see what happens. Alright, that's the car washed and clay barred so I can get a better handle of what's going on now. This is, it's really, really quite bad. This is really bad. Um, all the way along that door, into the rear arch, up onto the top arch there, and also onto the rear bumper. This is, yeah, it's going to be quite a, quite a test this of my admittedly limited skills. So begin with an orange Hexel logic pad. I'm a big fan of the Meguiar's 105 and 205 combination. Um, I think this is going to need something a little bit heavier on this one. But importantly, measure the paint depth, see what's going on with it. Um, obviously, there isn't really any paint here, but the surrounding area, you know, this area here, just see, um, just see how far I can go with the the compound. And I'd usually begin with the least abrasive compound that I can, but there's no point in sort of pussyfooting around with this because it is really quite seriously damaged anyway. Um, but yeah, I'll just keep on checking it, keep on spritzing the pad with a pad lube as well. Make sure there's not too much heat getting into it. We don't want to cause any more damage to the rest of the panels, and that would be absolutely tragic. And an appalling uh, technique if I did do that. Right, let's get cracking with the equipment and begin, I think, with these um, lighter marks here and see where we get to with these. It's even um, a sort of abrasions into the front door as well. Well, I'm really pleased with that. It is not perfect, but it is a hell of a lot better than it was. It's difficult with the reflection to actually see the paint mark clearly, but um, you can see this this line here that obviously has taken the, the greatest part of the impact, um, and the skin of the outer skin there, the paint is cracked. Uh, but these marks up here, they've entirely come out. The let's just readjust this camera a little bit. The marks down the side of the wheel arch. Again, you can see where it's really taken a, a hit there and it's dinted it. The scuff in the front door, or the leading edge of the front door, that is out as well. I will admit that this isn't any kind of, you know, magician's work on my part. I'm not that highly skilled. It's um, it's really, I've sort of got lucky that some of the marks weren't as deep as I suspected that they were, first of all. For example, I thought this mark that ran all along the way down here was down to the metal, but actually a lot of it was, well I say a lot of it, a reasonable bit of it was um, the cement dust from the wall. But that is a darn sight better than it was. So that rear arch as well, that's out. Um, scuffed on the rear bumper as well, I just took that out while I was there. But I think that they're gonna be really happy with that one. Not perfect, not brilliant. I'm self-confessed of kind of just getting by mechanically. I'm not brilliant. Likewise with bodywork, I get by, I'm not brilliant. A bit of a jack of all trades and definitely a master of none. But um, yeah, I would like to, I would like to just give a shout out to Kent and my big brother Paul for teaching me a few skills because without that, 
this car would be looking pretty horrendous and what it does if I just zoom back from the car a little bit it just takes your eye just takes your eye away from the the damage there because um, it did stick out like a sore thumb so thank you gentlemen I hope I've done you proud in some shape or form and uh, back to Saabs next episode thanks guys take care bye bye